So a heartbreaking final here from Shields Field as St. Mary's able to defeat the Bethany Vikings 2-1. Joined here by head coach Derek Langholm. And Derek, not the result you wanted, but still a, a great effort from your team tonight. You had a couple of really awesome moments. And just kind of take us through some of your thoughts from the, the game we had here tonight. Well, I mean, you know, credit to them. They, they've beaten us 2-1 to one now, two years in a row. And last year it, it was an absolutely gorgeous goal that got them back into the game. And you could say the same thing for them tonight. But um, their goalkeeper is absolutely outstanding. And uh, we, we knew that was going to be a difficult thing. But for us it was just dumb little letdowns that, that really cost us. And I guess the good news, bad news is, I mean, that these are happening in non-conference games. And, uh, you know, obviously this hasn't hurt us in the long term with uh, – um, you know, our conference goals and that kind of stuff. But, I mean, unbelievable first goal here. I mean, there's there's just nothing you can say about, a, a, you know, a, a bicycle kick like that is just crazy, you know. And so we, we scored that goal, and then I, I told their coach that you, you take a look at this. And, and on this goal, you can kind of see the biggest problem we had here is um, we're not ready for the second ball. We, we need our defensive midfielder back. We were too caught up in the play. This guy just hits a rocket. And then, I mean, what are the odds that it hits off Nick's back? I mean, it's, that's just unfortunate. And then this goal, this, I mean, this is the one that really killed us, is, is the fact that we got uh, stepped out there, another just gorgeous shot. And, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things sometimes – you know, games just kind of go that way. I mean, soccer is kind of one of those games. It's, it's, it's probably not even like basketball or football when, you know, most of the time I think, I think you, you see kind of a, a good result. And, it, it, you know, this is just one of those games that you can, you can do a lot of good things and you just don't get the victory. For sure. And it's, it's been a, a, a long five days for you guys. Yes. You had three <laughs> games in five days. You had a top 25 team in Carleton. You had a, a grinder of a game against Bethel. And then you had the one here tonight. How important are these games, especially early on, in this stretch early on in the season, to prepare for later on down the road when it's there's hardware on the line? Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, we, I mean we've got two amazing opponents coming up next week as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice that we get a little bit of a break now. We've got a JV match coming up on Saturday. So some of these guys who haven't seen any action yet are, are going to get to see some. We've got a, a really good, deep roster. Um, I, I think you've seen that in all three of our games so far. We've gone kind of deep into the roster. And, uh, again, I, I thought we played well enough to win tonight, but we also made just a couple dumb decisions and, and, and things that really hurt us, and that's where we're at today. So... We, we just pick up the pieces, come back next week, and uh, we'll have some tough ones with, uh, you know, three really top-notch opponents in Gus Davis, defending national champ St. Olaf, and then Loris, who's always been one of the top teams down in Iowa. So. For sure. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy the uh, JV game on Saturday. We'll see you against Gus Davis, and um, best of luck to you, Coach. Thank you much. Appreciate it.